right, welcome to DJ360. And I, I'm telling you what, my buddy here, Black Maze, is growing nicely. He's at 19,000 subscribers. Congratulations to you, Black, uh, Black Maze, for getting those subs. Uh, he's saying Star Citizen 3.17 is incredible. Incredible. Which translates to incredible for people that don't understand. Um, it's my own language. So let us check it out and let us see why he thinks it is, in fact, in incredible. I've dabbled into the PTU for the first time since joining the verse and want to share real quick that 317 is promising to bring some really cool features. Here's three of them that I want to mention real quick. The first one being performance. Now I don't know if this is normal for the PTU, but it is running so much smoother than the PU and I really hope that these improvements make their way to the PU. Again, it's showing some really promising improvements that I'm really excited for. Number two is the MISC Hole A. The Hole A looks beautiful. I love the transformer. I first saw it in one of the ISCs and was really from impressed the by the shape, but now it's here. And seeing it in the flesh, you can really see that with every ship CIG releases, the attention to detail, their so-called gold standard, is really improving and bringing each new ship to the next level. I mean, I knew at some point that the MISC uh, genre of ship would then extend into working, functional, moving dildo parts. Every MISC ship looks like a dildo, so we obviously had one to, ha to have, you know, batteries included and have some type of rotation, some, some different type of, uh, you know, vibrations happening. And, you know, <clears throat> the hull does that for us. I love the look of this hull, eh? I love the shape, how the wings sit on the hull, the big engine sticking out the back, the fact that it's got the typical beautiful chrome-plated hull, and the fact that it is practically an RV that can haul lots of cargo. I wouldn't mind making this my little cruise around ship, honestly. I bet he wouldn't. No, it's just Now, the coolest part of this all is that despite being a relatively small this. ship, the whole A <laughs> demonstrates a flight model we haven't seen before on a ship of its so size. That's why I'm channel. And it is listen, really funny listen. that I that's what happened to me. That's what happened to me months ago when I found out that I was labeled an adult channel. This is this is the problem, right? But it's a good problem. Didn't slow us down at all. In fact, I think it might even helped. It might have even helped us. We are officially an adult channel for people that aren't in the know. Uh, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm completely fine with that. For for comments, right, adult 360. Thank you, right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You should yes. experience this just after talking about how we could improve hovering and VTOL on planets. <laughs> Here's the really cool part about the whole A. It has next to no lateral strafing capability. It outputs only a maximum of 0.5 Gs <laughs> on the lateral axes, which means that it cannot sustain a hover when rolling on a planet with 1G of... By the way, I, I think how they have this structure right now, and I may be incorrect about this, but I've been reading about the hull, that they've got it structured for physics and flight model with it being currently loaded, whether it's loaded or not. <laughs> That's what she said. No. <laughs> Sorry. But I think you'll see different flight physics with this as that gets upgraded in the future just something that i have been reading off and on not confirmed hearsay right now hearsay i have not personally confirmed this but um it, it would make some sense that that's the way they've designed it gravity of course and this yes, is yes. naturally enforced hover mode this is what a math should be able to output 0.5 g's it is nothing, and when you're flying fast, boy, does it feel great. It really takes a different approach, but it's a ship with limitations. A ship where you have to think about how you position it to ensure you don't fall down to the planet. It's a wonderful feeling. Less is more. Looking at the other axes. But he's walking right into him. I mean, like, it's so easy right now. We'll keep going. If you push we'll it up with your going. strafe, so basically to hover, you can output 1.5 Gs, it looks like. They're about maybe 1.9. It's uh, just enough to, to hover on a planet, uh, and then you've got a little bit left to spare. I really like it. It makes it feel more sluggish, of course, but I wouldn't mind if this was the go-to for non-racing ships. All right, 
Moving on then, number three, with the improvements to network desync. Ship positions are incredibly accurate, allowing for all sorts of beautiful and accurate close proximity formation flying. We have never seen ships fly this close and have their position in the are you guys? Are you guys noticing? This is the first time I have not played the PTU in like forever, by the way. But for those of you that are in the PTU, because I have first uh, crack at PTU and usually I'm, I'm in there. But this is the first time I have not had the time to experience it. Are you guys who are in the, I don't know if there's anybody who has the uh, access to PTU like I do, but are there anybody playing the, the uh, is there anybody playing the PTU right now that's noticing an improvement on desync? Much better, says Wooks. Uh, Exploder says, I played it, felt better and smoother. Yes. God, man, that's crazy. I wonder if that has anything to do with the Gen 12. I wonder if that has anything to do with the Gen 12 improvements, man. Um... Because basically that takes away all the paintbrush areas uh, that generally gets that goes through the old legacy system that's getting coded on the um, on the on the uh, render threading side. And so the render threading doesn't have to to pop the uh, processes up to to put those up. So then you get better performance all all all, all over, really. You know, now that we're talking about it, this was the next video. We'll go right back to this, but I do want to show this as formation flying here because uh, I think it's relevant. And I don't, don't generally do this, but this is by a guy named uh, Salty Space Kitten, and he's part of our community here, and he's doing formation flying. So let's check out some formation flying. We'll go right back over um, to Black Maze's video here, but let's, let's check it out. Let's see if, in fact, it, it is better. Let's check it out. Majestic right there. Check that out, man. The shots on here. Who's doing this? Salty Space Kitten. I'm going to like that. I think, isn't he part of our community, this dude? I think he was the one posting this shit. Like, hey, dude, you check this shit out. He needs some help. 83 subscribers. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. I'm going to post the video link right now. 
Let's go. <laughs> you guys, you guys digging the singing? <laughs> you know, one of the funny things about this is it's copyrighted, but when I sing over it, it becomes mine. It's my song now. I'm going to fucking copyright the shit out of that. Nobody can use that but me. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Wait, okay, let's see here. Uh, this is sick, guys. GG would be nice to add footage from their perspective, too. Who's doing this? Uh, first formation flying with Moist Noodle, Ayando, and uh, Can... Can I... Can Itties? What the fuck is that guy's name? Never heard of him. Uh, can Titties? I don't know what let's go. Okay. So there we go. So there we have um an example of formation flying that is really quite impressive. Absolutely. Same same thing to it. It's, it's like adding spice to like, you know, like the original was like boiled chicken. Like, okay, so Tex says, listen, DG, is that like licking food to take ownership? And no, it's much more than that. Imagine you take a piece of chicken and boil it, right? That's what we watched. No, no, I'm not saying that was, this was good, by the way. I'm not comparing this video to boiled chicken, but just trying to give you an analogy here of how I've improved things. I've added spice, you understand? I have added the essential spices that make you drool. You understand? You are now smelling something that's like, wait a second, I was just smelling boiled chicken, but all of a sudden, my senses are overloaded. I'm smelling something savory, something sagey, something sweet at the same time, and you're just feeling it. You're just feeling saliva start to burst in your mouth, Tech. That's what I just did. That's what I just did. That's what I just did, right? 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 Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's get let's get back. Let's get back to this. Represented as accurately as this, you can get real close and have a good freaking time. <laughs> right, right, Friday just true. Right. Good to see you, Friday. And of course, naturally, this leads to all sorts of crazy stuff, like trying to refuel while moving. I have access to the Starfarer right now, and this was incredibly fun to try out. Yep, the refueling's awesome. Unfortunately, right that, now, about it. it appears that because you are moving, you cannot connect. And I would wholeheartedly urge CIG to improve upon this so that refueling on the go becomes a thing, as it should. Look at DCS. Look at real life. Yeah, yeah. DCS does it beautifully, and they will. They'll they'll continually improve upon it. Can't you auto dock as well? I think there's an auto dock feature. Um, yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like they need to. Oh, I I really we we show a lot of DCS content here on the channel as well, and I I love DCS. I cannot wait till I get the fucking gaming system and we do it correct, uh, because I will be hopping back into DCS as well, and um, yeah, they do that right. You are absolutely correct. Um, I think that that's what they need to do. I mean, like, I want realism. I do want realism. I do want the realism. Um, yeah, yeah, it's right, right, right. I do want it. Like, I absolutely do want it. Um, and because, uh, you know, look at this. this is the way. This is the way. It needs to happen. It is hard as fuck. It won't be as hard, trust me, but they're going to upgrade the experience. And thank you so much, Oz. Thank you so much for your support and for your love, bro. Wow, look at you. 14 months, bro. Thank you so much, man. And welcome, uh, System Glitch. I didn't get to welcome you, but thank you for that follow as well, bro. Military. We gotta. Hey, stop. Stop strafing. Sorry, there's a tower. We gotta go above it. Oh, Dude. no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that totally gives me Elite Dangerous docking vibes right there. For a second going into that Hercules, that was so fucking Elite Dangerous docking vibes right there into the space station. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I saw that coming at me through your tunnel. <laughs> oh, but so much better. Because you're docking in a ship. Yep. Look at this shit. This is awesome. Going with a bit of a pitch shot, that's good. I think keep, going, you guys. keep going, keep going. Oh, you're in, you're in. Oh. Two, 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 <laughs> two, 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 two,
I cannot wow. wait for 317 to hit the PU and put all of these impressive networking improvements to use while racing. This brings Star Citizen. I feel like that hurt got viola violated as well, Explodo. I feel like we need to press some type of charges against that pilot. <laughs> Explodo. Explodo, man. You're picking that up, dude. I felt the same exact way, dude. Like I was like, oh, no, Hercules. Oh, no. <laughs> Again, to the next level. Less ghosting network collisions. <laughs> Here we come. Three, two, one, <laughs> off. Yo. <laughs> Yo. This is so fucking dope. <laughs> I love how you guys are still gliding upwards and this thing's just falling like a fucking <laughs> I saw that time. And the freelancer. <laughs> Yumi, Yumi's all the way up still. It the freelancer you. apparently has good, like, freaking arrow profile. This razor <laughs> drops like a fucking brick. Wait, well, I think the thing is with weight, isn't momentum a thing? Like it takes a bit yeah. longer to slow down bigger. They're fucking working on the physics finally. Holy fuck, thank God. Oh, and please, when fucking vehicles drop from thousands of fucking meters above the fucking surface and they hit, can they please fucking explode too? Can we get that going here too as well? Jesus H on a pogo stick, man. That's nice though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man, like, this is a pretty big upgrade. This is actually quite a big upgrade. This is really fun to see. Wow. That's, that, that was, that was an aha moment, man. That, that felt good. All right, go over there to my friend Black Man. It's going to like that video, obviously. And go over to uh, Greetings all. Saudi. About two weeks back, a chap called. I don't know what's going on there. Look, and go over to Saudi Space Kitten as well. I, I gave a like there and go subscribe to him as well. Um, these two videos we're going to put together in a montage, if you will, because I think they're just related to one another. And uh, really good stuff to see. Really great stuff coming from Star Citizen.